The media is a big thing in your life, isn't it? I mean, it's something which you're very exercised by. You have some reason to think Labour would, in fact, do anything any different to the Conservatives? Uh, I think, actually, uh, uh, I'm here because I, I believe in, uh, that, uh, you know, in, in a, a measure of redistribution that those, the haves, should help the, the have-nots. And uh, in actual fact, I'd probably, uh, on balance, be better off under the Conservatives. But I'm not interested in my own narrow self-interest. I'm interested in the good of the community as a whole, which is why I support Labour, because I think uh, you have to put aside your own selfish interests and, uh, and look at the, uh, the welfare of society as a whole. What would this election campaign look like if you got the kind of reforms uh, in media regulation and the rest of it um, into some sort of shape? Well, I think if, if there was a, 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 a properly regulated self-regulation of the press uh, that we uh, hacked off advocate, which is the adoption of Leveson, uh, Leveson's main uh, core findings, um, then it would mean that people like me wouldn't have to get involved because there'd be a more of a balanced debate. As it is, we have a very unbalanced debate because of a cartel of vested interests who are serving really the interests of the Conservative Party that they think will serve the interests of their newspaper proprietors who are really uh, only interested in their in their own sort of narrow commercial uh, self-interest. So really, uh, I think a, a press that was more um, a more balanced would be healthy, healthier for democracy. Um, uh, the reason people like me get involved is to try and redress that balance. Um, I noticed that the Conservatives uh, try to raise the idea of celebrities as somehow uh, a desperation measure for Labour, but they wouldn't do that if they had many uh, so-called celebrities endorsing them. But they haven't because most creative people realise that the Tory party is a, a busted flush, so they have to go on the offensive. I suppose the thing at the end of the day is really whether you think this campaign has actually reached anybody, because actually if you study what's been going on, you've had a lot of Cameron and a lot of Miliband and a lot of other um, people, but you haven't had them really intersecting with the ordinary people in the street. Wherever they are, they've always got supporters around them. Um, well, I mean, I think that, you, that, that there is a certain amount of control that has to be exercised because, of course, everyone, you know, I think certainly the, the right-wing press have made this a very personal uh, campaign. You know, there, there have been 85 personal attacks amongst the uh, main cartel of, uh, of uh, right-wing newspapers on, on Ed Miliband. Only five uh, criti uh, examples of criticism of David Cameron. So we, we need to do everything we can to sort of, uh, to, to, uh, from, our, from our point of view, to uh, control our media message. Um, but, but isn't that, because isn't we're, that we're, in the we're end... we're fighting an, un an uneven battle. Isn't that in the end exactly I mean, I what... Think that the Tories have but that's, what, that's politics, isn't it? Well, I think, the, the, I think the Tories have actually missed a trick because, uh, in actual fact, uh, although the newspapers do have a rather malign influence, they have a lot less influence than they used to have. And uh, 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 social media is something I think the Tories have never really got to grips with. And uh, you can see how they try to rubbish Russell Brand, who has over 8 million uh, followers on Twitter and uh, endorsed Labour um, uh, recently. Uh, that's something that they don't quite understand. And I think that, uh, the, you know, the, the, the social media is going to play a much bigger part in the result of this election than, uh, than the newspapers uh, would have you believe. Well, just as well, we're deploying it right now as we speak. Thank you very, very much, Steve Coogan. Um, thanks a lot.